very warm welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel and I say warm we are rapidly approaching the Christmas period silly season is nearly upon us tis a season to be a wally or drink copious amounts of beer we start this week's video with a catch-up before we get into the main video now on the last video the uh, wet vax video I was fuming with myself because after I shot the video I didn't find this part till after you live and learn. Now, the original part I used, this is the wand attachment. This is the uh, fish towel it's known as. You get this in the kit with the wet fax. On the Henry Wash version, you get this part. I'm led to believe on the George, you get this part. This is the part I was after because this connects to the hose, allowing for greater flexibilities and get underneath the pedals, get around the gearbox tunnel and gets all the nooks and crannies without basically trying to double joint your elbow uh this i think i'm just going to toss this to one side to be honest with you what i will say to you guys is, is i'll put a link uh for the amazon purchase i got mine from ebay and i had a few issues i.e this nipple here was fitted to this and it is very very tight getting the um water uh hose on that quick release so i swapped it over for this one the original one which is on that if you catch my drift so I'll put the link to the Amazon one underneath this video, as well as all the other links to the video that's coming. That's the catch up part. Right, on with this one. Detailed online, Huddersfield base. This is a brand review this week. We're gonna be doing it on Harvey's BMW, the E28. It is minging, it's covered in crap. It's not that he doesn't look after it. Well, no, he doesn't actually, he's just me. Um, it's just winter roads and grime. It's just a build-up of shit, to be honest with you. I can't put it any plainer than that. It's just crap on the roads. We're going to use a number of products, wash products, and we are going to use some LSPs. We've got. To, I'll go through what they are because I'm going to use a mixture this week. Uh, we'll start, anyway, with this one. This is the Elite Shampoo, 1,000 to 1. Uh, pH neutral, kind to your waxes, kind to your last stage protections, cuts through grime apparently, very easy to use. I will tell you one thing, I did use one of their shampoos and that was rated at 2000 to 1. They have rebranded and relaunched their products. What I will say to you is the product range is vast. They have a vast range of accessories and all sorts of stuff on their side, but you can go and have a look for yourself. Anyway, that's the shampoo. Uh, as far as pre-wash is concerned, we've got a number to go through. Uh, the, the super kind one is the Lava Snow Foam, so pretty generic thick snow foam, nice electric blue colour. Then we get to the nitty gritty. Citrus Cleaner, this is can, this can be diluted. Dilution rates down the side here, heavy soiling, use neat. You know, that goes to go without saying, but then again you'll plough through the product. Uh, medium soiling 10 to 1 and light soiling 20 to 1. They have given me some bottles to use, so that's the citrus. And then we get to this one, the highly controversial TFR. I have used this before, I've used a Power Max version, it's very, very effective. We're probably going to be using this on the wheels and on some of the lower parts of the car. We're going to kind of mix up, uh, not mix the chemicals, but we're going to use the citrus on the arches. Uh, and we'll just we'll just test them on certain areas of the car. Haven't quite made up my mind, but that's TFR, traffic film remover. Do not be scared of this. Obviously, on a hot summer's day, you wouldn't go anywhere near this. It can leave staining and streaks all over your paint. Very, very good for commercial vehicles, for grotty four befores. It's pretty much instantaneous, but I wouldn't use loads of it, okay? That's the pre-wash side of things. And now we come to the, the other stuff. We have a, a Carnuba Glaze, T1 and T3, I think, Carnuba. So a Glaze, this basically works if you're female out there, which I believe we've got 20% audience now, which are female, welcome. Um, it acts like foundation on your face. It's got, you wouldn't put this on your face, obviously. It's got resins and backfillers in it, as well as Carnuba to protect your paint. It's a temporary fix. It gives you a nice gloss level. It covers over swirls. It doesn't cover up random defects like scratches. You can layer this. Obviously, you can put a couple of coats on, but don't go stupid. Don't go troweling it all over your car. Don't think, oh, I can cover all these swirls and get a big handful of it and slap it on the bonnet. It doesn't work like that. Once you've put this on, you can then layer it with an LSP, i.e. a wax, a sprayable sealant, a quick detailer, whatever you want to do. That's the Carnuba. 
Uh, then we go to the Trim Restorer, uh, Restore Trim Gel. There is certain parts on the BMW, some black trims, i.e. the wing mirrors, and there's a black trim that goes around the car. Uh, they're, they're not that bad. The mirrors could do with recoating. Some vents in the bonnet, which is not the easiest to coat. I've done it before with a trim um, sealant or a trim gel, uh, and I've come up okay. We'll, we'll have a play around with that. Then we come to the highly controversial wet coat product. This is the Nano Sealant. Now, I've used a number of these. It does say on the bottle, if you've, if you've used any wet coat products, for those of you who don't know what these are, these are a, a sprayable sealant, and you put them on wet, and you power wash them off, and then you just buff over. That's the key, buffing off, because they leave watermarks, especially on glass. It tells you this on the bottle, so don't, you know, it's, I'm not leading up the garden path. They all do it. I've tried loads of these. They're meant for speed. They last a couple of months at a push, depending on how you look after your car. We're going to be using that on a, probably a wing, or we'll, we'll test it on the BMW. Uh, there is another one, which the guys don't really know about, because I had this on a previous delivery. This is their Ultima Ceramic Wax Added SiO2. We're going to be using that on parts of the BMW as well. As I say, I haven't decided whereabouts yet. This is all a bit wing on a prayer, as usual. Uh, but we will be using that as an LSP. The idea is, is to get this car pretty much winter prepped, excluding things like glass sealants. But we are going to get a decent coat of LSP on the car as sorts. They also sent down these two decanting sprayable bottles. One thing I will say to you guys, you know what I'm like with trigger sprays. Uh, these are the cheaper end. Um, I can tell you that from, from past experience. We'll see how they perform when we go into the BMW. So that's enough windbagging from me, as usual. I'm going to get my stupid hat on with the bobble on it because I've lost the other one. Hint, hint, someone send me a new hat. And we're going to crack on. See you in a bit. So it begins. It begins with degriming the wheel arches with your power washer get rid of as much gunk as you can big mistake is diving in with the chemicals and then they don't really work properly or don't work effectively enough so start with the citrus cleaner once you've got rid of all the gunk with your power washer a liberal spray on the tires and then use your tire scraping brush to alleviate your rubber of filth tfr use that on the wheels be amazed how good it is on wheels also it's going to be used on the lower parts of the vehicle that's a soft vicam brush and an atlas to brush for the wheel nuts and then rinse down once you've done that you can repeat the process on all four wheels when it gets to the rear don't forget your flaps. Give them a damn good soaking in the citrus and then scrub them. And not forgetting the smaller, delicate areas, front grill, nice hog's hair brush with the citrus, work it in. Numerous other areas on the vehicle. You can go around all your nooks and crannies and then rinse down. So with the TFR, you can go around the lower parts of the vehicle, all the worst affected areas, the bottom of the doors. You could use this on door jams if you really want to. While this is soaking in, then we'll get the snow foam going. This allows the TFR a bit more dwell time to so go around the car with the snow foam. Initial impressions of the snow foam is it's not really that thick. There is a good 100 mil in that one litre snow foam lance. And that's what it looks like while it's dwelling. Give it around 10 minutes will soften the remainder of the gunk in the car or at least we hope it will and then rinse down So 
So the worst affected area in this car is the lower part. Now after using the TFR, you can still see there is some grime on there. So I wasn't that impressed by this, so I switched over to the other nozzle on my pressure washer. This is the one that comes with the pressure washer, it's not the auto nozzle. It's got a bit more gumph in it, and it seemed to get most of it off, but initially there was still some muck on there. So moving across to the two bucket wash with the Elite Shampoo. Some nice suds go in there, all oh, that water is nice and cold. Bit like first dates, the initial impressions, not bad. A little bit of glide going on there. Yes, I look like a serial killer, cross between a serial killer and a pervert. Get that head out the shop. So work your way around the car. You've all seen me do this before, countless times. So it's fairly sudsy. the lather it produces on the panel. So once you've done that, rinse the car down. While it's wet, apply a nano sealant to a panel. I'm going to demonstrate, not on the wing, on the boot. Nice flattish surface, quite a large area. This is real time, not speeded up. Just allow it to sit on the panel very, very briefly. Come on, where's he gone? He'll be back in a minute. Please don't say he's gonna make a cup of tea. I say dwell, I didn't mean go out shopping. And there you go. And that's what happens. Beads. Try and keep it off the glass. Uh, not really doing a good job of that here, but try and keep it off the glass, because you'll get marks. So after a drying session, a very very quick buffing session, I tried to sort of show what it would be like with my amazing rain machine. Yeah right, just to show water behaviour once it's been buffed. Probably get around about two months with these at a push. So once it was all dried off, we moved on to the Carnuba Glaze, or makeup for cars, as I like to call it. Uh, what I did find with this is it's quite smooth in the way it goes over the panel. Not particularly well uh, prepped this car. You might find that odd being as my background and what I actually do as I'm only a part-timer. Time is very, very short supply these days. Nevertheless, it was a joy to use this. Um, they pretty much do all the same thing. They provide a nice layer of gloss and they hide swirls. So buff it off. You're gonna of course layer this with a wax of your choice. So that was the test panel on the bonnet with the glaze. And then Andy decided to do the rest of the car with the ceramic wax. This is Ultima. So I decided to wear my serious cap rather than my noddy hat. What you all find of this is it's very, very smooth in its application. What do I mean by that? Well, it's kind of like spreading butter. Uh, it's quite soft. Give it a good 10 minutes to allow to cure, to haze over. And then buff off. Notice two towels. You can lean on one while you're buffing with the other one and you won't get any finger marks all over your car. Top tip there for you. 
Also, you can use two hands to just speed things up. Now, that is not out of my nose. This is trim gel. Very, very odd stuff. Kind of the same texture as Vaseline. Ooh, uh, put your comments in down below. I honestly thought this was going to be difficult to apply, but it's not. Obviously, you've got the raised letters. You've got to sort of get your fingers in there to apply it, but a little goes a long way. Quite a unique product, this. Uh, I've had gels before, but not like that. Um, it is a little bit, little bit greasy, but for doing areas like this and the trim around the car, it's a lot less messy than some of them I've used. Now, you can allow this to dry and then you just buff it off. What it's like for longevity, I'm not too sure. Um, depends on the plastic, how permeable it is, weather conditions, i.e. sun, UV. But in actual application of product, and then buffing it off is very easy. And that is it. This is what she looks like. All ready to get covered in grime again, but at least now it's got some protection on it. two t-shirts and a pair of thermals i'm not stupid right well i am um let's go through this uh basically after we power washed the car down got rid of all the grime the crap from under the arches we hit the tires and the wheels and products used were citrus cleaner dilutable 10 to 1 in the detailed online uh, bottle these are very very good because i've got this these marks on the side the only thing i'm not keen on is these cheap uh, trigger spray heads if you can change them you're cooking on gas. So what do we think of it? Well, on the tires, uh, worked it into the tires, fantastic. Cleans the tires really, really well, and it cleans the mud flaps okay, all right? So it, it works okay. Probably need to make it a little bit stronger if you want it to be really like, oh wow, you know, uh, instantaneous. Um, you can use it on the interiors. It is wax safe. Um, headlinings, door cars, all the usual things, door shuts. Um, it's quite a versatile product. I do like citrus cleaners. I've got a bit of a thing for them. Not a thing, but I do like using them. They're very enjoyable uh, to use. Obviously, they smell citrusy. Oh, this one isn't that strong. So did it do the job? It did it okay. Then we come down to the TFR, traffic film remover. Did this around 10 to 1. Probably needed to make it a bit stronger because on the lower half of the car, if you've seen by the video, it still left the crime which i was really surprised at to be honest with you because tfrs it, it's just normally it's on the deck you know they're, they're very very strong it's non-caustic by the way it's car friendly um maybe need to make that stronger even though it says it's highly concentrated um it this didn't do it for me on the wheels brilliant foams up did a really really good job on the wheels for, for some unknown reason it was very very good to use on the wheels but on the lower parts of the car it struggled got to give you my honest opinion guys uh maybe i need to make it a bit stronger or i need to make it a bit stronger okay that was the tfr uh then of course the next stage of the pre-wash was the good old-fashioned instagram page the um lava snow foam now this was a little bit disappointing in the fact that it was quite thin and i put a lot in there was over 100 mil in that litre bottle um so a little bit disappointed by that did it soften the grime Ooh, kind of um i did actually swap over with the lances i put the uh instead of the uh auto nozzle i put the more directional one on in the end to rid some of this and uh it was okay it wasn't brilliant it's not the best i've used Came down to shampoo, pretty straightforward. It glides, it foams reasonably well. It's not the best out there, obviously. Um, it, it's okay. 
it's nice user friendly a thousand to one so it's fairly affordable all the products are fairly affordable uh, I've got a very very oh I'm going to get my words out in a minute. A very, very good selling point is, and I've got to say this, this is one of the best selling points ever about these products. It's free delivery. Free delivery. There's not many companies do that. So if you're on a budget and you're shopping away there, don't worry about that bit at the end where you go, <gasps> how much? Because there isn't going to be that. It's free delivery, guys. So I just mentioned that very, very quickly. So anyway, get back to this. That's the shampoo. In between the wet stages, wet and dry stages we use the nano sealant now the main issue with these is water spotting um i try not to got it get it on the glass um didn't really have many issues with this you have to buff it off um don't just obviously you when you initiate the, the pressure washer you did all the the beading stuff and it's instantaneous it is it's quite impressive stuff to watch if you've never seen it before you you know someone in the street said what the, what's that well watch this they think you're some sort of a magician if you, I've used a number of these. They do suffer with water spotting, especially during the summer months and spring months. Obviously in the winter it's not too bad, but you still have to buff them off. We tried numerous ways, by, you know, buffing it off and then giving it a blast or just putting the water on so you can see the beads. It, it works. It's an instantaneous LSP, but just keep it off your glass. Do they speed things up? Kind of but you still have to work them after. So it's not a case of just that and walk off and go and make a cup of tea. You have to buff the panels off after. It's a, a sort of a, I suppose a little cheat if you like, but on the whole, you know, it did the trick. It works. Uh, obviously dried the vehicle off after we've finished mucking about and we went on for the Carnuba Glaze. This was nice to use. Just tested it on the uh, bonnet. Nice and smooth to use as well. It seems to have, obviously, it's got filling properties to cover up the hor horrendous swirls that are on the BMW. Um, you can top it with wax and sealant, your LSP of your choice. So, nice product to use. They're all pretty much the same, these glazes. They all work very, very well. Um, not bad. This was the one which really stood out for me. This was the Re Restore Trim Gel. I was expecting it to be a lot runnier and I was quite shocked was when I pumped it out and put it on the applicator pad. It looks like Vaseline. Don't ask me how I know what Vaseline looks like. Keep that to yourselves. Enjoyable product to use. It smells delightful. I don't even know what it smells of. I'm useless at smells. God, it's, it's really nice stuff. It just smells fantastic. They've put a nice, easy pump action uh, nozzle or tip on the end of that. And it's probably going to go for a long, well, it's going to go for miles, to be honest with you. And you'll probably end up cutting it in half to get the rest out once that's uh, stopped working. Very, very thick. So it makes it very controllable. The only downside is, I suppose, if you're going to do like vents and stuff, you can probably struggle getting in there because it's not a spray. So apart from that, very, very good to use. It'll be interesting to see uh, what the effects are and how long the darkening effect lasts. Obviously, I've done it today, it's going to look dark. Uh, there's some bold claims of these things, you know, they last months and months and months. I've tried loads of these, so it'll be really interesting to see how long that lasts. But that, for me, was probably the product of the day so far. Little sneaky one, this. Uh, the guys didn't know I was going to do this. This is the Ultima Ceramic Wax um, added SiO2. What I found with this is it is incredibly easy to use. It's quite um, a moist wax. Very, very, it looks crumbly at first, but it's not. It's very soft. It's quite gooey, and you will use a fair amount of it. But even though it goes a long way, it sticks like crazy to the applicator pad. Give it 10 minutes and buff it off. It is a joy to buff off. It's very, very easy to use. No, I'm not going to put water on the BMW. You all know what beading looks like. It's going to give you, I think it's something like up to five months protection. This will give you a lot more protection than the Nano. The Nano sealant will probably only last a couple of months at a push. But that, I really enjoyed using that. Um, all prices for these products will be down below. As I said, free delivery on all the products. They've got a vast range of accessories um, which are on the website, brushes, towels, you name it, it's on there. So products for me for the day were probably the, the trim uh, and the wax. TFR, mm, not too sure about the TFR. On the whole, the products are quite well presented. They obviously revamped the range with new labels. It's, 
it's not the be all and end all. I know it looks great on your shelf and all that. Um, as far as the bulk size uh, sizes are concerned, not too sure. I know they got to two and a half liters. They may do a five liter range. I'm not too sure. Sorry about the the, the rush. I was, I was kind of spotting up last night and trying to concentrate on key points for the video. So that is it really. So thanks to Daz that sent the products down. Sorry for the delay. If you followed my Instagram, you'll know why there's been a delay in videos. We've got a lot of things going on at the moment. There will be a video on that later on, maybe next year. Excuse that while Mr. Delivery Van reverses up the road. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please interact. Um, I can announce we have gone past 3,000 subscribers. Thanks to everyone that's been subscribing for the last two years. Thanks to everyone that views me overseas. Absolutely incredible. You guys are amazing. Keep your comments coming. Keep putting your thumbs up. Keep subscribing. I'm going to go and warm up. I'll see you on the next video.